Carabo. Let me see you ride Carabo. Doctor says gonna grind Carabo. Yeah, yeah. It is really, really, really nice to see you again. And if you are a returning human, thank you. If you are a new subscriber and you're new to this channel and whatnot, thank you so much for coming through. But please, if you just click subscribe, it's really not going to hurt your bank. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anybody in your family. So just subscribe. This video is about the things I wish I had known sooner in my life. And so what I did was I basically asked a lot of people on what they wish they had known sooner about what life has to offer them and whatnot and i really didn't think i'd get a lot of replies from people but i really really got a lot of replies back about that question and i feel like maybe i got replies because of what's happening especially with this pandemic is making a lot of people realize a lot of things about themselves just about life in general many people basically wished that they had better managed their finances i remember seeing a lot of people saying that they realized that they were spending a lot of them their money on the most stupidest things that are not even gonna enhance their life for example somebody said they spend too much money on alcohol and going out and tables and shit do you feel that person genuinely did go out a lot but i just assumed that he had the money to go out a lot especially being in this pandemic now if you have not saved money you're genuinely going to be struggling this year and it's really it's really sad to see a lot of people say stuff like that because it, make, it makes you realize as well how much people don't really plan for their future and it's very important to plan for your future so i advise everybody to really really save saving is the most important thing my mom will ram the word saving down your throat 24 7 oh my goodness and trust me right now i'm realizing how correct she was because i'm super prepared right now because of my mom because how much i saved the next answer that people mostly said is that they wish they had spent more time with their loved ones that have already passed away and also they wish they had better communication with people that are still alive and obviously now they're not friends with them or they're just not speaking to them anymore but i think i'd say just going forward if anything don't dwell on that situation it's just do better and everything will be good it's never too late to be a good person never too late to save but obviously if, if you haven't saved you the whole the whole but it's never too late to save just start as soon as possible because these things hey i think as well those are the most two important things in life you need to save money and have great relationships relationships are very important to a lot of people like relationships get you out of things if you have a good friendship with somebody you can get out of a situation because that person's there to give you great advice so, so family is amazing to have and it doesn't have to be blood but i'm gonna look down here because everybody had said i wrote it down and i put it on my laptop so it makes it easy for me and also so i can remember them because they say exactly what they said so he goes so anonymous person number one said um they wish they had known sooner in life how to do their taxes that men are liars <laughs> men are fucking liars fuck it out be independent universities a scam experience is actually better work hard then so you can live life when you're older be with someone who loves you more than you love them never care about what other people think as they don't pay your bills i think this person said every single thing that a lot of people be regret, especially females. I'm assuming this is a female. Taxes, law. I don't know if she's talking about tax returns or what, but I can do my tax returns because it's quite, it's fairly easy to be honest. And men are liars, they are fucking liars because don't believe them, they just fucking, they just lie. They lie about the dumbest shit ever. They lie if they're going to sleep, they lie when they're eating, they lie everything about them is just lies um be independent i think being independent is the most important thing in the whole entire life just even as a guy or a female being independent is the most important thing it's it, it makes you you're less stressed when you're independent because you're not 
always depending on people depending on people is like the worst thing ever in this entire existence of life this person said university is a scam and it's very expensive yes university is absolutely expensive i feel like honestly because i went to uni and i have an undergrad and a master's degree and i feel like honestly unless you need that degree then i feel like and, and you can get good experience then go get the ex go watch the experience because that's what these work these jobs want anyway these companies big ass companies want anyway because it's like you can have a degree and just finish university and then you decide to fucking you know go and look for a job ah you don't have experience but you have a degree yet they're trying to tell us that the degree is very important how can you go after a degree and go to work at the same because sometimes it is hard for some people to be juggling so many things at once and some people can and those people are special people and they're quite they're quite lucky and they can clearly handle their uni work and going to work as well and also to be honest i feel like most of these jobs they want you to do long hours as well so it's like it's a bit you know it's a bit of a difficult one and i have a feeling as well some of these no i have a feeling i know of some of these companies about you to get experience and you go and actually ask for part-time jobs so then you can also finish university then they'll be looking at you straight like no we want full-time like so unless you're a doctor all those if you need a degree for your for what you need in your life like you know electricians doctor you get the point they need degrees but certain things i feel like you can actually go get experience and work from a young age and get your shit together like and then go to uni nobody said don't go to uni, but you can go to uni after you've even got those that experience because now you know so now it's easy to apply you know the knowledge be with someone that loves you more i feel like with females you should always find a man that loves you more than you love him because i feel like with females we're always gonna love a guy regardless like you would do above and beyond for your man and with males i don't know what it is but there's something about me yeah yeah they're just creepy. I want my man to love me more than I fucking love him because I think it just makes sense. And I'm sure you, you get it makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, and don't care what anybody thinks about you. You don't pay your bills. And that's very true because these people, when you're sad and grinding and going to work, they're not there when you need them. So why on earth would you allow people to like, like even infect your energy to even try just uh, just get through inside you like and just ruin your aura your like just everything about you just because of sunday day you just said and i know you pay your bills anonymous person number two said i wish i had known that life isn't as straightforward as people make it to be for example i am trying to change my career now i had to go through a whole other career i feel like knowing this would have made me less anxious as i thought i would be married at least in love or at least in love wow that is a that's a, that's a really um the last part is really deep i suppose and um to be honest when it comes to the career wise i feel like a lot of us when we're young we think we know what we want to do and then you go after it and there's nothing wrong with going after what you think you want to do for the rest of your life but then obviously as you grow older you find out new things about yourself like oh i'm good at this actually and i actually prefer this and i like this there's everybody has their own little path not a little path the big path everybody has their own path so if you started this way it doesn't mean you don't it doesn't mean you can't change and the, and the good thing is the fact that you've realized this anonymous person number two has realized that this new career is what they actually want and they've gone after it that is what matters the most you are doing what you want to do and what feels right for you yes and i'm sure i bet you the thing is as well i bet you that old career that you wanted and studied for maybe in in, in the beginning is probably gonna age you so much it's gonna help aid you with this new job so don't ever look at things as if like oh it's a discard it's discouraging or it's holding you back no it's not holding you back because now you're probably able to move on to this new career because of what the first career taught you look at it that everything happens for a fucking reason for a bloody goddamn reason so don't ever think that you're behind and don't ever ever compare yourself to other people or look at what other people are doing because the minute you do that you will struggle in life because all you'll be trying to do is basically please other people and you're not pleasing yourself and i like 
why are you here in here because it's like she's or he is pleasing themselves and nobody else um and when it comes because yeah and as well you see like when you're going out after what people want your, your anxiety gets worse but i'm i have a feeling this person is more anxious the fact in terms of that things are uncertain because of this, they've just started this new career but i promise you that like i i think you have got and i'm glad that you have gone for the new career and i wish you nothing but the best you are gonna be awesome on your next career and about marriage and being in love a lot of us really i'm, tw I'm 26 like i don't know uh, i really 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 thought i would be in a long-term relationship by now and that shit hasn't happened and i do not for once feel bad about it i do think about it like oh i would like to have a guy take me out or i'd like to go on a date but honestly it's genuinely the last thing that i think about i don't desire a man at all right now i'm all about a more career orientated and i feel like your marriage your love will come when you're ready because um you need to think the reason maybe why you're not in love right now or not married right now is because you're not ready for it and god wants it is gonna give you that man when you're ready like things happen for a reason don't don't even rush into it just take your time just do in fact focus on your career and then i bet you that's when you'll find love when you're seriously focused in your career um anonymous anonymous person number three said they wish they had taken their time when it when it came to deciding what career they wanted to go into they wish they had not felt pressured into going to university just because everyone else is doing it like i said in, a, in anonymous number one you, like that person said that university is a scam unless you feel you need to go and it's going to aid you in your career then go but if it's not and you know it's not for you and it's gonna be a waste of money don't bother going because it's gonna if anything you're gonna go through a hard time i remember i know with my sister my sister went to university and i don't think she wanted to go to university i think she wanted to do um acting and stuff like that a uh, performing arts she wanted to go to a performing arts school but didn't go in the end and she was kind of pressured to go into, into university she went to university and she hated it she hated each and every single day of it, she didn't like it, and that is very true. Don't feel pressure to go to university because everybody else is going to university. Because I tell you, even I, I, when I went to university, there's people that I saw I had spoken to that were at university because their parents made them to go to university or because all their friends went there. They hated it, they didn't want it, they were kept on failing and shit. And it's just, there's no point, and it's a waste of your parents' money. They don't, don't do that. Um, the other thing that this person said was they wish they knew that life isn't a race and that everyone has their own time. Like I said again, don't look at what anybody everybody else is doing because they have their own journey. You have your own journey, like and also this person says it applies to relationships too. Um that's true. Don't rush into relationships. Um if it ain't for you it ain't for you anonymous person number four said they wish they had or they had planned a means of income <sighs> this person sounds like they didn't have they didn't plan a source of income and i think that's very important to always know uh when money is coming in and when it's coming in like for example with me i have my main job and i have a part-time job just in case like if i need extra cash i'll go like on a weekend when it, i can only do it on weekends like on saturday i can do a night shift and then sleep all day on sunday but i, I don't really do it all a lot because i didn't need to but the point is it's there just in case i do music as well i do youtube now like you just keep doing things that are either gonna get you money in the future or they're getting you money immediately and then they also said the wish that had made use of the opportunities before covid19 happened i don't even know what to say to that i really hope that now during quarantine this person has had time to really think about what they really want in life what's important what kind of jobs and also any job any job in this world a job is a job so if as long as it's bringing income is bringing income listen i used to be embarrassed that I, but that i used to work in care homes and also my part-time job is care like my normal job 
Ew. I work in a warehouse, like on a graduate scheme called um, logistics and warehouse manager um, graduate role. And it is totally different to care, right? But the thing is, I do that because it's what I studied and I love it, first of all. And then care, low key, I like doing care at the same time because I like being nice to these old people that don't have nobody that cares about them. And it's really nice to be one of the people that gives a fuck about them and cleans them. But I don't want to do that for the rest of my life at all. But humble yourself, a job is a job, and it pays well. So I'd advise anybody if you don't have a second um, source of income, try doing care work it's very good it pays well i'm doing agency so you can work you don't have to work at all even for a whole month a whole year but it's agency you always have that job that's what i like about it so think about it think about it so I, i'm about to say the things that i wish i had known sooner in this life i wish when i was at university i had done more work experience on the industry that i actually studied instead of doing care work because what the fuck did care care gave me money right there and then but it didn't give me the experience i needed for my words going you was going yeah it didn't give me experience for logistics and supply chain and stuff like that but um i suppose it taught me a lot of lessons and I suppose there's, th there's certain things I didn't learn that I still that I use now in that job in this new job so but I'm being mother bomb but it wasn't the correct experience you get the point um my other thing was I because how my skin was so bad I wish I had known that all I had to do was go to a fucking GP and I would fix my skin just like that I wish I had known that sooner because if I had known that sooner I think I would have avoided a lot of heartache a lot of these suicidal thoughts that i had of me trying to kill myself like i those things would have not been there had i just gone to the fucking gp and listened to my fucking mom okay i was just that stubborn bitch i hated the gp sister. i hated doctors i hated hospitals because i feel like hospitals the minute you get into it you leave with a serious disease you leave with something even worse than you fucking came there for so i was like nah it, my other thing is i wish i had known that when people show you their true colors immediately you should seriously believe it and run off with it why are you staying with that person why are you still friends with that person why are you around those people those type of people that don't correspond with where you're going in life why when you meet that person is exactly what you're gonna get yes people do change but the thing is you met that person like that the minute you don't expect people to change, you will never ever get disappointed because you got exactly what you accepted. You accepted this type of behavior in your life or this type of shenanigans in your life. Deal with it yourself now because you know they showed you their true colors, but you still stood by that person. And that is on you and nobody else. And that's on period, period. The minute you expect too much from people, the headache that comes with it, don't want no stress no people just disappoint you they do you dirty they do you wrong all that kind of shit listen i rather expect nothing from you if i don't expect shit from you my life is peaceful and i will just do things myself peaceful life and i'm gonna wrap this video up because i've been talking for so long thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe bye Wine carabo. Let me see your wine carabo. Doctor says gonna grind carabo. Yeah, yeah. yeah.